Hello, it's Catherine again with Cascade Tech. This video is going to help you get started using our TFO or TVO ovens with the standard RS-485 communications and the free Watlow configurator software. In order to use the uh, standard communications and the Watlow configurator software, you're going to need to have an RS-485 to USB converter cable. You can make your own, just give me a call, I'll tell you about the pinouts and give you the wiring schematic, or you can purchase one from us as an accessory. Uh, once you have your converter cable, you're going to need to install some drivers and then get to know the Watlow software. So I'm going to turn it over to Dan Mallory, our equipment engineer, and he'll show you how to do that. Thanks for coming by Cascade Tech. Have a great day. You will see that it's very important that you install the drivers before you connect the USB cable to your computer. So it will come with some software. So you're going to go ahead and install the software. Wait for the software to finish. And that's going to install a virtual COM port. And I can show you on my computer this is Windows XP so you may have a different way to find your device manager and you will see that it has installed a COM port and on mine it did a RS-485 isolated port on COM9. Now you may not have to go find which COM port this is but we'll show you that when we plug the connector this connector into the back of your oven on the 485 port and then you plug it into the USB jack on your computer and you wait a few minutes for the, uh, it to install the drivers, just like any standard USB connection. Alright, so once we put the Watlow disk in and it comes up, we'll see software. We can right click, we can go to Easy Zone, and we'll see the Easy Zone configurator. So depending upon how new the disk that was provided from Watlow is, you may have an older version, but this shows that they have version 3.0 on this disk and you extract the files and you install it. And once you're done with that, you will have the EasyZone configurator. Let's program our profile. So we're going to need to plug our cable into our oven and then plug our USB cable into our computer and then we will start the EasyZone configurator software and we'll see that we have some choices. So let's talk about our choices. We have configure a device while communicating. So this is a choice that you will use to be talking to the controller live and all of your changes you make will happen to the oven in real time. The next choice is create or edit a configuration file to download. So this is a choice you'll use to edit the configurations offline and then you save them to your hard drive. Then the third choice is to download a configuration. So we'll use this choice to choose a configuration that is stored on your hard drive and download it to the controller. So for the purposes of today's demonstration, let's go ahead and configure a device while communicating. So once we're all plugged into the oven, we'll go configure, and this will give us some choices. So we previously spoke about determining which COM port uh, your USB RS-485 adapter had been configured to in your oven. So on, on, uh, on my computer, it's COM9. There are some choices here to like scan from COM port to COM port. So mine's nine, so we'll just go ahead and hit next and we'll see it start to scan. And usually what ha happens is it'll find your controller and show you right here. If it can't find your controller, let's do a, uh, I will demonstrate what the failure to find your controller is. If we hit next, and repeat the scan, this will be what it looks like if you're not plugged in. So if you're not plugged in or you chose the wrong COM port or you broke your cable or uh, your USB cable is not plugged into your converter, etc., you're going to get a window that says, I can't find anything. So you can just see if you just forgot to plug it in or had a loose wire and hit repeat. Or you can go back and see if you had the wrong COM port etc. So in my case, I'm going to plug 
back into my oven and I'm going to repeat the scan and there it goes. It found it. So we hit next and you'll see that it's going to connect to the oven and now we're live with the oven and it starts right up and tells you uh, that it's connected. Up at the top it shows you what the model number of your controller is and what the software version of your controller. So now you are live online with your oven.